I am gonna try to make something that number one I've never had huh? number two I've never heard of huh? until recently I and mean, number three my family hasn't heard of it either huh? This is gonna be quite a challenge, but good old edible ed's always up for a really good challenge. Mm. So today, I'm gonna be making horchata. <gasps> I know, Mickey Munchies and Emma Bites made it last year for Hispanic Heritage Month, and uh, spoiler alert, they might be coming back real soon, so keep your peepers peeped. So this is a different kind of horchata. This is tiger nut horchata. You might be asking me, what's a tiger nut? What is that. It's neither related to tigers or nuts. Nuts. I'm assuming it's called a tiger nut because they're little and they're not nuts. They're actually tubers. They're related to potatoes. They're little like they look like nuts, nuts. and then they have little like lines or, or like stripes on them. So they kind of look like a tiger. So I'm assuming that's where the, the name came from. The world may never know. But I'm going to be making some horchata with some tiger nuts. Nuts. Now when you think about it, like I mentioned before, these aren't actually nuts. nuts. But we're going to treat them like a nut. Nuts. We're going to soak them for a little bit so they'll be nice and tender. And then we can blend them up and we can make some horchata. Yeah! So are you guys excited to go on this adventure with me? Yeah. I really hope so, because I really hope it turns out good, because I don't want to disappoint you guys. Oh no. But who is ready to get all tiger nuts with me? Nuts. Let's get this recipe going. I got a beautiful bowl that has a handy dandy lid. Cool. Check out my tiger nuts. They're interesting nuts. little dudes. They taste like a cross between a peanut and some coconuts. We need to get them ready for the big game by hydrating them with some super flavorful liquid. Add one cup of your tiger nuts to the bowl, followed by four cups of cold drinking water, because we're gonna drink it. If you're edible, Ed, add in your thumb. Otherwise, use a stick of cinnamon, followed by some cinnamon sugar and pure vanilla bean paste. This is my mixing spoon I've had since culinary school. It's older than some of you watching. We've made some incredible things together. I hope this story stirred up some warm feelings. Huh? Mix it combined. Cover and let sit overnight. One day later. Reveal your nuts. Nuts. Yeah! It's currently not much to look at, but tiger with me. The tubers have swelled with joy and flavor. They've doubled in size. This is before and after. Achieve all natural gains without synthetic additives. Edible Ed. I'm very blessed to own a Vitamix. I always dreamt of having one. See, kids? Dreams do come true. Pour everything into the blender jar. Get ready to blend like you've never blent before. I'm serious. Have a book ready. <laughs> I'm going to be sieving with two different sieves or strainers. The first one has a bigger mesh to catch bigger particulates. The second one has a really fine mesh. It's hard to see with the naked eye. Check out our blender jar. Frothy and delicious. Large mesh up first. You can catch, strain, and blend as many times as you'd like. Also, if you enjoy the texture, feel free to leave in some of the pulp. Just make sure to stir it up before serving. Use a spoon to press the pulp against the mesh, extracting more liquid. The back of the spoon works best. Tap tap. Repeat. Add all the pulp back into the blender with a little bit more water and blend again. Now pass it through the fine mesh. Same steps, chef.
I'm gonna save the remaining pulp and dry it out using it as flour to bake. Waste not, want not, chef. That looks exactly like traditional chata made with rice. Cool tubers. Taste as you go, chef. I'm gonna add a little bit more vanilla, followed by brown sugar and white sugar, because I don't discriminate. Nice. Mix to combine. Serve your horchata extremely cold. Finish it with a dusting of cinnamon and my other thumb. Uh. This is a mind freak because when you see it, you think you know what it is, but then you smell its nuttiness and quickly realize you shouldn't assume anything. Who's ready to drink? I'm ready to drink. Let's drink. Hey, you're the I'm just writing down my favorite songs from the sandwich. Oh, wow. And this is how long it took me to write it. So I'm just on that page on one of the last ones. Um, well, do you want to take a horchata break? Yes, please. I'm so hot. Oh, who's ready for some damage breaks? <laughs> oh, that's really good. Whoa. It tastes like... It still tastes like horchata, but you taste coconut. Yeah, it tastes different, but the same kind of. You know, when you taste something and you think it seems like the same, but it's not. It's crazy. It's really good. You should try this at home. Oh, and don't forget to go to the merch shop. But yeah, it tastes... Cinnamon. Oh, check that! It's cinnamon. I want to drink this when I'm in the pool. Can I drink some when I'm in the pool? It's refreshing, all right. Well, thank you. Love you. I might, I might have been out of shop, but I did this. Well, I gotta get back to writing notes. Bye, love you. Last time, bye, love ya. Okay, there we go. It's time for some air drinks. Oh, oh my gosh, will y'all look at my urchata. Now, I don't know where you guys currently are at, but I, I, where I'm at in Phoenix, Arizona, it's still like ridiculously hot. This beverage has come at the right time. Time for some head drinks. <laughs> wow, guys. That's definitely horchata, but you kind of like taste something different. Like your mind knows something's not right. What do you mean by that? <laughs> like a non-Hispanic guy making a Hispanic recipe. There's something not right about that. This thing is like edible and really, really funky and really, really delicious. It totally looks like horchata, right? No. Not really. But when you taste it, that tiger nut is a Bugs. really interesting blend of uh, nutty, like a nutty flavor, right? But like a coconutty flavor, if that makes any sense. It has that same mouthfeel, the grittiness, and uh, because of the starch from the little tuber, tiger nut, it still Bugs. has that, that texture and the flavor profile. It's just something that's a little different. It's a little bit more coconutty. And I'm not a huge fan of coconuts. I am in this beverage. Mm -hmm. oh. Grab the children! Save the child! Man, that was a really, really delicious and really simple recipe, guys. I hope you enjoyed that episode. I hope if you aren't already subscribed to my channel that watching that incredible recipe will 
make you feel that I deserve that subscription of yours. And also down below there's all kinds of really cool fun links. I got my cookbook, my merch, all kinds of stuff down below. And I really, really appreciate you. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's all new episode of Edible Ed's. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it made you go Tiger Nuts too. Nuts. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you here next week. Bye everybody. Thanks for getting all nuts, nuts. with me. Wow. Nope. Oh, fart. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Try not to laugh. No, I'm not just copying you. I'm just saying it also tastes like fruity ish. Yep. Whoa. It slurps. That just doesn't sound appropriate. I don't want to get canceled. <laughs> Time for some Ed slurps. Oh no.